Assalamualaikum teman-teman Namaste semuanya Oke teman-teman, di video kali ini kita akan ngomongin tentang yang lagi hit saat ini Di Twitter sih yang aku lihat ya, lagi hype banget sekarang Tagar No Indonesian Goals Kita bikin video ini dikarenakan ada salah satu uh, followers aku di Instagram uh, Dia um, menyarankan untuk membuat video ini Nanyain pendapat Syabar tentang hashtag No Indonesian Goals Jadi uh, di Twitter ini uh, katanya tuh lagi viral gitu Ini yang dibuat sama bule-bule Karena uh, katanya orang uh, cewek-cewek Indonesia itu memposting foto-foto uh, kenalannya Yang dari aplikasi Hoop kalau nggak salah Itu sejenis aplikasi Snapchat gitu Nah yang aku baca sih gitu ya aku nggak tahu kalau aku salah Mohon maaf ya kalau aku salah, soalnya aku nggak main hub, nggak ma main snapchat Dan aku juga nggak main twitter Aku baru lihat twitter itu kemarin Dan aku ngecek hashtag itu ternyata benar-benar lagi trending banget di twitter Jadi sekarang aku mau minta pendapatnya Syabar karena tuh aku juga e, baca kalau wanita Indonesia itu udah disamakan sama pria India katanya. Baik wanita Indonesia maupun pria India itu nggak semuanya sama guys. Aku juga nggak tahu kenapa mereka semua disamaratain kayak gitu. Jadi satu senegara cewek Indonesia itu udah disamaratakan sama sama bule gitu ya. Nah padahal nggak semuanya cewek Indonesia kayak gitu dan e, cuman beberapa doang gitu. Jadi aku sekarang mau nanya Syabar. Aku udah ceritain ke dia e, gimana case-nya, gimana trendingnya itu. So uh, about this hashtag, what do you think about this entire situation? So my perspective about this is that uh, I think. Uh, Indonesian people probably are getting uh, you know an idea of what uh, Indian males have been going through so far because uh, I being an Indian, Indian male I can understand uh, what is going on in their minds at the moment or how they're feeling at the moment because uh, a lot of Indian males have been going through this similar situation as well for uh, all these uh, years uh, we faced uh, a similar sort of criticism rather you know judgment even uh, from the western world and uh, from even from the asian world as well uh, you know a lot of Indo indonesian people uh, if you see our comments as well on youtube seem to be commenting uh, or generalizing rather uh, the entire indian male population based on a few uh, you know uh, random chats on the internet uh, that that they found probably or probably their own experiences uh, a few of their own experiences uh, rather so uh, yeah i think uh, it's unfortunate that uh, they have to go through the same thing but uh, I, I totally understand what is happening and um, it's very very unfortunate and very uh, silly in a way you know that people are uh, judging the entire population of the entire country uh, based on uh, some uh, experiences uh, some bad experiences with uh, some people rather I don't even know whether it's a bad experience I don't think it's a very bad experience though I I don't know why they would come up with such a hashtag. I think they're just making a big deal out of uh, this entire situation. Because that girl posts his pictures to public. To but uh, isn't he on social media? I mean, uh, what's social. the big deal if he's uh, if she's posting his pictures? I'm sure he's got his pictures all over social media, anyways. So, but anyways, if uh, if that's a problem for him, and uh, then uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a good idea to always get a you know permission from people if you want to use their pictures uh, in something. And sometimes they also screenshot their chat. Oh, they also screenshot oh, okay, okay. their chat. So that's not a very uh, good thing to do. Uh, I would say never do that. But what what is probably the age of these people? The, I mean, the the girls that are doing this probably they're in the teenage. Yeah, whatever I seen online, it seemed they are teenagers. I think teenagers are all silly, and <laughs> we were we were silly as well when we were teenagers. Probably yeah. everyone was. So I guess. Uh, Teenagers do sometimes do a little bit of silly things, but you can't uh, hold it against the entire population, you know. Yeah. Probably the people that are, you know, spreading these hashtags, they're also teenagers. And uh, they're just being as silly as them, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's very unfortunate that uh, this is happening and uh, whoever is doing this is probably very immature. It's always been happening with Indian uh, men, so you can feel now what we feel, right? Anyways, it's not a good feeling though. 
<laughs> so what do you think about like uh, some people accuse Indonesian girls like they are bule hunters they they will be so proud if, if they have a bule boyfriend or have someone from Western country like they know someone from Western country well I think uh, that's uh, totally wrong according to me uh, according to how much I know Indonesian people how much I've interacted with them I guess uh, it's it's totally wrong this and this claim because there's a lot of uh, Indonesian uh, celebrities a lot of beautiful Indonesian women who totally just go for Indonesian men right I mean they don't even think about uh, getting married to a foreigner or dating a foreigner as well I also think uh, if you go to see it could be the other way around you know uh, in my perception um, it, it could be completely the other way around it's the bullies that are really crazy about uh, Asian skin or tan skin rather uh, that's what I would say that's what I have observed from a lot of people uh, and you don't even have to go by my word you know you just go to Bali and uh, you'll see how many uh, how many foreigners are there uh, how many bullies are there it's probably uh, more bullies than Indonesian people themselves so yeah why would they be bully hunters like what is the reason why would they even do that you know? So I'm just saying that uh, some people claim that Indonesian girls are bully hunter because they want to get married to a bully because they want uh, they want to make sure that their generation get a better looking like blue eyes, white skin, uh, taller posture and pointed nose and uh, mm -hmm. they also think some of them also think that all the bully are rich. Mm -hmm. That's that's what the claim is. Yeah. I, I don't think though that the claim is correct. Because uh, definitely not all bullies are rich as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I've lived in Australia and not, not all of them are super rich or something like that. Uh, they do all kinds of odd jobs as well. And yeah, there are all kinds of jobs. It's, there are all kinds of people everywhere, you know. Uh, so I don't think that claim would be correct. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't agree to that. So I, I don't think there's any problem with their looks at the moment. <laughs> As I said in my earlier video, Indonesian girls are very cute, they're very beautiful. Indonesian women are very cute, very beautiful, I find them very pretty. Uh, so they are, that's the fact, and they are. So I, I don't think there's absolutely anything wrong with their generation at this point of time. So I don't know why they would want to do that. I, I think this claim is just absolutely rubbish and I think it's, uh, it's just nonsensical. Yeah. So I know there's uh, there's a fair bit of uh, you know uh, criticism towards uh, tan skin uh, or brown skin over there uh, in Indonesia. And, uh, Indonesian people are you know they tend to be more inclined towards white skin uh, and uh, uh, what do you say blue eyes, green eyes or whatever you know different colored eyes and uh, tall and tall guys probably. But uh, it's it's not the case with all right and. Um, this is what I've noticed. It's not just with Indonesians. I think it's uh, probably a thing with uh, most Asian people that uh, they, you know, they're looking for uh, uh, people that are white skin, blue eyes, green eyes, because they don't have it. You know, it's, and if you go to see uh, to the Western world, they like people that are more tan skin because they don't have it. So it's like human nature. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, what you don't have, you always uh, tend to be more attracted towards that. You know, you want to achieve that. You want to have that. If not for yourself, then for your kids probably. Uh, that's probably human nature. It's uh, it's just absolutely normal. So it's uh, totally uh, incorrect to say that uh, Indonesian girls are like this. I, I think it's a thing with uh, most of the Asian people. Uh, I think they probably are more attracted towards uh, fairer skin color because uh, that's what they want to have for their kids. Probably. I don't know. I and it's it's nothing wrong, right? I mean, everyone has their own choices, yes. uh, and they're. I I don't see any issues with that. <laughs> Yeah. And I personally notice on YouTube uh, many girls, Indonesian girls, like many of them put a, a video of them with their boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, like LDR first meeting with this from this country, with this guy from this country, that country. Like I, s I notice most of them like it's from American country and European country as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, they put their first meeting video. What do you think about it? My only suggestion would be that it's it's good to make such videos for your own memories like uh, if you, you know if you feel that you're really in love with that person or that person is also in really in love with you you are meeting for the first time after a long time probably uh, you know LER it works this way you know they talk to each other for a long time and then they happen to meet for the first time so they're very excited probably and I totally understand that you know I totally understand the excitement 
uh, but my suggestion would be that you make these videos but you keep it for yourself uh, until and unless the relationship does not really you know move to the next level when the relationship actually moves to the next level from uh, dating to probably marriage or something or you know or when you know when you're sure hundred percent sure that this is something serious and this is something uh, that is going to uh, you know uh, going to turn into a lifetime relationship or something of that sort then you would want to put uh, that video where, wherever you want to put you know you want to put it on YouTube you want to put it on social media but until that time I would suggest that don't do it because uh, you never know you know whether the guy is ready for marriage or not whether that person guy or the girl as well in, this, in that case whether she's ready for marriage or not and then something that goes on social media or on the internet it cannot be deleted right it's it's for life it's it's going to be there yeah you know it's it can be spread even if you delete it yourself maybe somebody else has already downloaded it or made a copy of it or whatever you know mm -hmm. so whatever goes on internet you can't delete that stuff yeah so just be very careful of what you're putting on out there and uh, just don't do things uh, that could hurt somebody else's image people are completely different online than what they are offline in the actual world so uh, i would suggest first meeting at least it doesn't make too much sense that you make a first meeting video and show it to people all around the world yeah showing like, it to people all around the world i guess like this is my first meeting so uh, that's just my perception that uh, just be safe keep your privacy safe keep other people's privacy safe respect everyone's privacy as well mm -hmm. and it's always a good thing you know if you want to uh, upload something anybody's uh, videos or pictures it's always a polite thing to ask them uh, if you're not in a serious relationship with that person already and uh, that person could be having issues with it right yeah and uh, you know what i what i feel when uh, people are doing these hashtags and all i take it as a coming from an indian guy indian males have always been subject to such kind of uh, criticism even from indonesian people actually <laughs> so whenever uh, you know as i said earlier as well i used to use when i was single i used to use dating uh, platforms as well and whenever someone said something like this to me like are you an indian guy and then they would just be like uh, rude to me or they would just leave and i would be like okay this is like a filtering criteria you know it's, it's like a filtering thing for me so i filter them out or they are rather helping me to filter them out because you don't want to be close to such people right because they're judgmental uh, they're very narrow-minded probably you can you can see from uh, the way they think because they're judging the entire population based on just a few people so um it's it's a good thing that they're doing this probably uh, they're letting you know that you know we're not the right people to talk to so <laughs> you should probably take it in a positive way and think of it as that as that uh, you know it's good that this person was anyways not worth it you know not worth the time and effort uh, so they said it themselves that no indonesian girls so okay so just avoid them just uh, stay away from such people stay away from the negativity right yes Oke, jadi itu aja teman-teman pendapatnya Syabar tentang uh, hashtag No Indonesian Girls yang lagi trending saat ini. Some people might even say that you know when they saying No Indonesian Girls, then you might come up with saying No Bule or whatever you know hashtag No Bule. No narrow-minded uh, bule. No narrow-minded bule is rather yeah you should come up with that. Uh, but yeah, you shouldn't do that because uh, then it wouldn't make you any different from them yes right, right. so uh, prove to them that uh, you're different from them i'm sure it's not that all uh, bullies are like that either yeah. there are many mature people i'm sure these people who's, who've done this uh, are all teenagers and very mature people but uh, don't do that don't come up with no bully or no anything kind of uh, hashtag because that that proves that you're different from them you're better right mm -hmm. and uh, As they say, you know, an eye for an eye make would make the whole world blind. Jadi itu aja teman-teman video kita hari ini. Jangan lupa like, comment, subscribe dan share kalau kalian suka video kita. Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. Dadah. You girls are beautiful, cute and awesome. Stay awesome, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Dadah.